Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Moda, and welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel. So, another day, another Bitmain altcoin miner release. So, this is going to be for Dash. This is going to be the new D9. So, it kind of leaked last night. They put out a little tweet talking about it. And already this morning, we have the date. We have the price, we have the specs, we got profitability. So we're going to be taking a look at that and give our thoughts and opinions on it, right? Because uh, something is a little weird about it. We're going to see here right off the bat what stands out about this unit. So if that sounds good, guys, something you're interested in, stay tuned. All right, so let's get right to it. So first off, though want to give a shout out to a viewer who was just asking about a D7 a couple days ago. So Eric Torba, he was talking about, you know, regarding a D7 restock. And we we're talking about, it. I was like, ah, most likely, you know, towards end of life, probably going to be seeing something new. In another video, I had mentioned possible replacement for a dash miner, but I was predicting more for like maybe the end of the year. Because this fall makes it about two years. Didn't think we'd get one now, especially with all these other releases. Right, it's like we're almost getting inundated with all these like altcoin releases from Bitmain. Um, so this is the D9. We do have the specs. It is one thousand seven hundred seventy giga hash at twenty eight thirty nine watts. The biggest difference though is the price on this guy, eighty five hundred bucks. Which considering how much of a bargain the previous ones were, this one's a little right off the bat not so appealing. Right, we'll look at the profitability and see if it makes sense. But right off the bat, not looking too hot. Um, to me, though, what this does kind of confirm is, you know, we were speculating because of these uh, specific releases, right? The HS3 regarding Handshake, the KA3 with Kadena, and then CKB, that K7 with Nervos, is that it was almost a targeted effort against Gold Shell, right? So when the Z9 Pro came out, we kind of saw that the specs actually didn't outclass some of the competition, right? With like jazz miners and such, they were actually, those are still actually more efficient. Where they could beat them at though was the price. So in a sense, I think that actually was like a hit to them, but the only way they were, at, were able to actually hit them was with the price, right? So I think because they hit them with such a low price, it's going to force them to lower their prices and therefore kind of like interrupting their business plan there. So to me, in a sense, it almost does confirm that because this guy is priced way higher than it probably should be. And I think the main reason is because there is no competition, right? There are old releases of old Dash miners, but the only thing that's came out in recent times was the previous Ant Miner release, the D7. Aside from that, no other manufacturer has really made any since then. Okay, so at this point, they're releasing a miner with no competition, so they can price it at whatever they want, Right? And it's going to discourage also anybody else coming into it. So I highly doubt maybe if Gold Shell was considering it, maybe this will make them rethink that choice, right? So again, it is going to be 8500 bucks. It's going to go on sale February 13th. So again, similar mon mindset with the other ones is that they're going to give us only a couple days heads up, which is unfortunate though, because again, we're going to have the same issue we had with the E9 Pro that it's not giving these other vendors and distributors time to really put it up on their website prior to this release, right? And that was kind of the issue we had with the E9 Pro is that a handful of vendors did put it up, but they didn't really know where to price it, right? So now though, they're kind of doing the same thing. The difference being though is that this one is so much higher, okay? I don't think we're gonna have the issue with this one possibly selling out because of that, okay? But again, it is gonna ship or go for sale February 13th, 8,500 bucks a unit. So now let's look at profitability, right? Let's see what it looks like. And ASIC minor value actually already had it up. Okay, so according to this, your yield for the day is gonna be about 21 bucks. Your overall profit after electricity, this is at a 12 cent kilowatt hour, will be about 13 bucks. Um, so right off the bat, basing it off of this, for 8,500 bucks, not worth it. Right, unless you're a big believer in Dash, you see something there. I'm not really into Dash at all. Been keeping my eyes on that D7 only because it has been so interesting. The fact that it's been out for about a year and a half and it's still been one of the steadiest earners out of all the miners. Right, year and a half old, the thing's still making I think like eight bucks a day. 
which to me kind of kept their relative. But again, I was expecting a new release coming, not this soon. I was expecting maybe this fall because at that point it would be two years and it would make sense for them to add another one. But here we are. And again, right off the bat, not too great. Let's compare the specs to the previous model, though, right? Maybe it's uh, going to be a big monster comparing to it, but looking at it real quick, not so much, right? Especially as far as comparing the previous, like, CKB miners, the Kadena miners to this new one. It's not as drastic of a change. It is better. Don't get me wrong. It is definitely better. This guy is 1.28 terahash. This guy is 1.7. So about give or take a 50% increase there, and it's about 300 less watts, right? So it is definitely a good increase. Is it worth the price difference though, right? Is it worth 8,500 bucks? That's going to be up to you and whether or not you see potential in Dash. I don't really follow Dash. I'm not into it, so it's not one I really keep up with. Just based on that alone, this is not something that would interest me so much just because I'm not into Dash. Right? Maybe if the price point was lower, we we're looking at maybe 2900 bucks. then I would definitely be more about it. But for this current profitability, for a project I'm not into so much, 8500 bucks, not too interesting to me. Again, if you're into Dash, maybe something you want to look at a little bit harder. Um, so now, so this is showing also just, you know, based off of that X11 algo. Again, the previous release was October 2021 for that D7. The only other miner before that was October 2018. Okay. Well, there are a few others. Here's November 19, actually. So there is a couple. But again, that's two years prior to that. Recent times, again, it's just bit me. Okay. So I think that's part of the reason that it's 8500 bucks. I don't think they're going to have much success. Well, actually, it may still sell out, you know, given how Bitmain has been. But I don't see, um, see it doing too, too hot. Or too many people being too like crazy about it. Um, so let's look at the only third party I found that had it up was by Paratech, and they, it's at thirteen four hundred. So definitely <laughs> not interesting at all at that price, right? But to each their own. Um, so mine the ASIC actually did have it up, and again, guys, do want to correct the mistake I made yesterday's video regarding the profitability. Right, we did notice that it does have a yield amount per the day, and I was saying that it was incorrect. I was wrong. What it actually is, it's this is the amount you're gonna yield already after electricity. So I was looking at this current number as what it the overall yield would be, but that's not what it is. This is taking into account your electricity already being taken out essentially. So the actual income up here was right. So I was definitely in the wrong, I misinterpreted it. So, guys, if you're using it, keep that in consideration. Take a look at that. Make sure you take a good, close look at it, okay? So, that def definitely is closer to being correct than ASIC minor value. And then going on, like, Ant Pool, I punched it in just to see what they would say. It was about 26 bucks, and they have it listed at about 24 So, it is pretty close, right? So, definitely, they're doing good. Again, that was my mistake. I misinterpreted it. So, so far looking pretty good um, so yeah guys just wanted to give you that quick update so just to keep you guys aware so this is again it is dropping soon it is dropping on February 13th which is what Monday so it is dropping Monday 10 o'clock Eastern for those of you that are interested again for this price though for me personally not really interested not really gonna keep up with it again if it was about half of that be more inclined to look at it, but considering what's out there, not too hot. But I am going to be kind of curious to see if it does actually sell out still, right? That it would be kind of interesting to see how well it does, or if it stays online, or if it stays online and the price goes down because it doesn't sell too well. We don't know, or maybe Dash has a huge community. I don't really know much about it. It's never been something that's been very appealing to me. Um, again, was looking at that D7 just because of that profitability, and it was kind of curious as to the fact that it was remaining profitable for so long, but here comes the D9 to kind of spoil that. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what it does. We'll see if it makes sense for them to be this greedy. Maybe it doesn't sell out. They learn their lesson and they price more, more of a normal price, right? It's been really, really weird with their pricing lately, especially that E9 Pro being so cheap, this guy being so expensive. 
If it was more where it should be priced at, maybe they would sell better on both ends. Maybe they would be more obtainable. Because again, the E9 Pro, that $1299, people were just getting to resell. I'm pretty sure the majority of people, especially those people who were able to place bulk orders, are just reselling them for double, triple, right? So we'll see what happens in the future. We'll see how this guy does. I will keep up with it. And I am definitely curious to see if it actually sells out or not. Right. And I'm curious to see what these other vendors will have it priced at. If they're kind of seeing the same thing, like if they only have it at like $89.99, then I'm assuming they're seeing the same thing. That it's probably not going to sell too well. But if they're pricing it similar to like how Viparatech is at freaking this crazy 13000 then maybe they're seeing something we don't or I don't at least. Again, this is my opinion. I'm trying to persuade you either way. It's all up to you, but just giving you that info for... Excuse me, for those of you guys who are interested, all right? So again, guys, please comment, like, and subscribe because I will keep you updated on any releases, any restocks. Again, for those of you guys subscribed, I do put community posts as soon as I hear any restocks. I know a lot of guys are into that, like Katie Box 2. As soon as I hear restocks of those, I post all those. Um, I would recommend kind of like checking it because I know that sometimes the notifications do come out way later. Like, I remember one time I did a post and I got a notification for that post from myself for some reason, but like two days later, right? Most of these are irrelevant at that point. But um, as soon as I do hear releases or restocks, because there's been a ton of them lately, I will be posting those and keep you guys updated, all right? So again, guys, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And especially comment if you're interested in this D9 at this price point. I'm curious to hear if any of you guys are Dash fans or because I haven't really heard a whole lot about it, especially not much hype. But um, if any of you guys are, let me know. Let me know why it's specifically into Dash, right? I know some people have been into the D7 just because profitability. It is kind of interesting, but would like to hear if any of you guys are actually into the project itself because, again, not really too familiar with it. All right, guys. So again, thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I am out.